Here's the other thing too, yes. I knew I had another one. And the same, I just had lots of ideas floating around in my mind. And this one was, again, these neodymium magnets, but use them with caution. And what we had was this plate right here. And that's why I had the neodymium magnets out, was this plate was rattling around when I was working on this piece on the other lathe. And I put the magnets in here so they would hold that plate. No, in here is where I put them. I put one on each side to hold this plate on so it wasn't rattling around when we were uh, tr truing up this piece, which this piece here is a close fit on the center and the outside. And then we will do bolt holes. That's for a uh, flywheel drive adapter for a pump. And you can see the flywheel there. We had to modify this a little bit. We're gonna have to chop the end off yet. I just uh, turned it back for length. It was too long. It was on a totally different engine, different setup. This was also a automotive style truck clutch. It had a big deep ring out here, which if you're facing flywheels and you see the ones with the deep ring, remember when you face the flywheel, face the same amount off the ring or the clutch won't work right. That's important. I don't have the ring on this to show you what the ring was, but when you get the clutches, some of the older Volkswagen clutches that way, you see that on some of the old Willys. You'll see that on a few things where there's a place that the clutch bolts on and the pressure plate, I mean, not the pressure plate, the disc and everything goes down in a well. Then when you face the flywheel friction surface, you've got to face that ring down too, or your pressure plate doesn't have the same pressure it doesn't push the same, it doesn't work right. <clears throat> so, a few little things.